Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Lesson Management System project. Now in the previous tutorial, we added this uh, order now button over here and we also have this input field over here. And in this tutorial, we are going to do is that if the user click order confirm button, then it will upload all the data uh, in the database in a certain table. Okay. So first of all, we will create a table uh, in the database. Okay. So for this, we will go to common prompt. And over here we will say php artisan make model let's say our uh, table name will be order so we will say order then we will give minus m it will create a migration in the database and the model at the same time so let's press enter so you can see model created successfully uh, migration created successfully now we'll go back to our code over here and if we go to our database migration and uh, over here you can see order table over here so we are going to add some column over here so we'll show our here dollar table then we'll show our here string inside this string let's say uh, we'll have actually uh, input field for name, uh, food name, price, quantity, then the user name, phone, user phone number, and address. Okay, so let's start writing them. So let's say first one will be food name, and let's say it will be nullable. Now after food name, after food name we will have price and quantity. So let me just copy it and paste it two times. So this one will be the food price. So let's just say price and after price, uh, this one will be quantity. Now we'll have some more column for username, phone number and address. Okay, so let's say it will be just name. And this one will be phone number. So let's just say phone and this one will be address okay so let's save it Control s now uh, we'll go to our command prompt and we'll show our here php artisan migrate and press enter you can see that uh, migration is successful so if we just go to our database and refresh over here a order table should appear over here so over here you can see order table if you click over here you can see we have the food name price quantity name phone and address over here okay so let's go to our code and we'll go to showcard.bed.php and since we want the title price quantity for food and we also want the name phone and address so we will we need to start our form uh, form from this point so it's the form will start from here and it will end uh, it will end after this okay so okay uh, our form ends over here now we also need to change uh, one more thing and that is you can see over here a button for order now right and if we have a button inside a form then it will uh, the form consider this button as a input a submit button so we will we need to say over here type equal button so now our form will not consider this as a submit button so we will do the same for the close button as well so we will say over here type its button okay so let's save it now uh, let me just come over here uh, over here now we now we need to get data those uh, title price and quantity uh, data in the form so in order for the form to get the data we need to have a input field so input type will be text uh, name will be let's say food name title is basically food name and uh, uh, we inside the value we will say uh, let me just copy this line control c and we will paste it inside value and uh, and if we save it and if we refresh over here you will see a input field over here okay you can see input field uh, this actually come from the input field and over here you can see soup uh, this is ca coming from this td uh, from this uh, so showing the input field isn't proper right so we will say over here hidden 
so if we say hidden and save it now if we refresh over here the input field will be gone here you can see there is no input field right now and uh, also since uh, we are getting a multiple data we are using for each loop for getting multiple data so we cannot mention it only just put name we need to give third bracket over here so it will means that uh, it's a array and it can contain multiple data so we are going to do the same uh, for other input field for price and quantity so let me just copy it control c and control v over here and control v over here as well so over here uh, the name will be price and that over here that uh, it will be price as well and uh, this name will be quantity quantity and over here inside the value we also need to write quantity quantity okay so let's save it control s now uh, we will go to our form and over here we will uh, mention action then we will also have method method and uh, so method will be post and after method we also need to add at the rate of csrf over here okay so inside this action uh, we will give a url so we say url and over here uh, let's say, say its name will be order con farm okay so let's save it control s now we'll go to our web.php and create this route so let's go to web.php and uh, let me just uh, copy this one control c and uh, paste it over here control v and our route name was uh, order confirm order confirm uh, url name and it will be a post request and let's say our function name will be order confirm as well okay so let's save it control s now let's go to uh, okay let's say it will be home controller instead of admin controller so let's save it now let's go to home controller.php and we'll create the function order confirm over here so we'll say public function order confirm then we'll give to second bracket and over here and now over here uh, first of all we'll say over here request request dollar request and then we'll declare a for each loop over here so now we'll say over here for each then uh, over here we'll say dollar request request then this arrow sign then we'll say over here food name now this food name is actually coming from showcard.blade.php over here you can see name equal to food name so after this we need to say over here as dollar key i will mention later we are using as dollar key then we will give equal then this arrow sign we will say over here dollar food name okay so now we will give two second bracket for this for each loop and over here first of all let's a variable let's say it will be dollar tata is equal to new our table name which was order we need to add this uh, order table model name at the top so let's go top and let me just copy this and paste it over here and over here we'll say order okay so let's save it now we'll go down again and now first of all we'll see over here just as usual dollar data then this arrow sign then for food name uh, let's just go to our database and you can see over here our uh, column name is food name as well so over here we'll see over here food name is equal to dollar food name and now we don't uh, write dollar request food name because we already mentioned it over here as this okay so after this uh, we will see over here dollar data dollar data then it will be uh, price it will be price so equal we will see over here dollar request dollar request then this arrow sign then we will see over here price now we need to mention give to third bracket 
and inside it we will say dollar key so what will happen is that for each food name a specific food name it will uh, give a specific price okay so for the first food name it will give the first price for the second food name it will give us the second price and so on so let's do this for the quantity as well so let's say over here instead of price it will be quantity quantity so let's save it now we only now we only have to input the username user phone number and user address and user phone number uh, user address doesn't require any arrow sign uh, yeah any third bracket because uh, it's not any array it's the just same input every time so we'll say over here dollar data then it will be name is equal to dollar request name so let me just copy this and uh, we'll paste it two times one will be for address and another one will be for phone number so over here we'll say let's say phone then uh, this one will be for address and after this we'll just say dollar data save okay now we'll just after the second bracket uh, for each loop second bracket we'll say over here return Re, uh, redirect uh, return redirect this arrow sign back okay so let me just fix this okay so let's save it now we also need to do one more thing uh, we are actually passing the uh, array data over here right so we need to go to the model and use uh, over here order model over here and we need to add some line over here so let me just go to user.php and i'll just copy this protected fillable line so control c and let's go to order.php and paste it over here so we'll say over here uh, first one will be food name now this one will be for quantity uh, quantity and this is for price uh, let's also just add the let's also just add the name phone and uh, address as well so just paste it three times first so over here we'll say name then we'll say over here phone and the last one will be address okay so let's just save it and now i think i did everything that i needed to do uh, so let's go to our browser and let's just refresh over here and let's click order now button and over here we are just going to give the name let's say phone number and address now let's click order confirm so what here you can see that it the page refresh now if we go to our table and if we just refresh over here so over here you can see we have three input field uh, we have three a new input that we just added right now you can see soup 34 dollar quantity one burger fifty dollar quantity three now let's check over here okay it's fine as well so this is how you can add array data in laravel so i hope i was able to help you so our order now uh, part is done now in the next tutorial uh, we let the admin see all those data from their admin panel okay so uh, this is all for this tutorial i hope you like this video and if you have any question or if you have any confusion or face any problem then you can let me know in the comment section and if you like this video then please uh, give a like to this video it will really encourage me to make the next video more faster so thank you very much for watching we will just have more we will just have two more tutorials to go to in this project so thanks for watching and subscribe my channel for more amazing tutorials